if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is July the 4th, 2023, and today the topic is for the birds. Um, Good morning and happy 4th of July to those of us in the U.S. of A. Um, also, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday to one of my homegirls, Miss Summer Kai, y'all. Y'all may know her. She's been on this platform multiple times. She's also an amazing artist and things like that. So shout out to her. Um, yo, <laughs> let's see what the Lord has to say to and through little old me this morning. Well, um, for the birds. Well, uh, I came to the inspiration i guess uh for for the birds came well it came by the birds chirping outside i was listening (laughs) to the prayer meditation and then um afterwards i just noticed the birds chirping and so um obviously the word bird came into my mind um i got distracted i was doing all kinds of little things looking on social media all that and then at some point when i decided to rest my mind and stop looking as soon as I stopped looking um at social media the phrase for the birds came into my heart and mind and so I decided to look it up um and even though it's the complete opposite from what I feel like the Lord was giving me with the word bird um that's ultimately where the inspiration came from this morning so for those that don't know the phrase for the birds means worthless, not to be taken seriously, no good. <laughs> so with that being said, um, you know, I, I guess I just would like to remind us this is, this is another one of those things where uh, what the Bible tells us is going to be completely the opposite from the world's definition of this phrase, right? Um, I think what I'm going to share right now or what I believe that I received right now, uh, is very, uh, you know, it's worth a lot. And I do feel like it should be taken seriously. And ultimately that it is good, um, good news and everything like that. So let's get into it y'all for the birds. So one of the first verses that stood out to me this morning is Matthew 6 and 26 it says, look at the birds of the air. They neither soar nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? There you go, friends. I mean, you know, first of all, this uh, verse is reiterated multiple times, obviously through the Gospels and everything like that. Um, And I feel like that's good news. It's a reminder that, you know what, The, the Lord takes care of the birds. Surely he will take care of me. Um, I believe that's why it's in there, uh, and I believe that we should be encouraged and inspired by that. Um, speaking of Miss Summer, man, I had a conversation with her yesterday, and she was sharing with me um, about something that she had observed um, and whatnot, and I won't get too, too deep into it, but basically, it's just one of those things where, for whatever reason... Um, We don't value ourselves. We don't value each other. And we should, right? We should start to value ourselves a little bit more. Um, We see how valuable we are to the Lord. Um, You know, I saw this uh, quote earlier. I guess it was this morning or yesterday at some point. (laughs) I saw it and it was talking about how, um, you know, Jesus thought that I was worth dying for. Um, And everything like that. I mean, hey, again, asking ourselves this question, if the Lord would take care of the birds, right? Why do we struggle with this idea that he would take care of us? Um, 
I don't know why that is. Obviously, I struggled with it as well, you know. Um, I guess trusting, right, him, right? Trusting him with every aspect of my life. But once again, I find that as I... As I continue to trust him, lean and depend on him, allow him to lead me and guide me in every aspect of my life, I find myself at peace. I find myself, um, you know, living the things that he put on my heart and mind years ago. And so, um, you know, I hope my testimony encourages you and inspires you to trust the Lord. Uh, I hope this verse that I just shared inspires you to trust the Lord. I mean, even if you have to do it piece by piece, right? Start trusting him with one thing and then another and another. Like again, um I tell you guys my my testimony all the time. You know, uh meeting my husband, shout out to him, was one of the first, not to say first signs, but one of the I guess one of the things I put like that. One of the things that made me really really acknowledge God and be like, you know, wait a minute, you really was listening to me back in the day. Like, you really, okay, well, I wonder what you're going to do with my career then. And then next thing I know, you know, different business opportunities and things start flourishing. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you want to do with my finances then? You know, and, and and that's where I got me to this place that I'm at today where I'm like, I'm not necessarily worried about anything. Um, You know, uh, sure, we still got bills. You know, sure, we still got, you know, I still got hopes and dreams and things I want to do. And whatnot, but on the flip side, you know, I know things happen for a reason and will happen in the time that it's supposed to, and and everything like that. And seeing how things have lined up in my life, and you know, again, things I dreamed about years ago are currently in motion, and and I'm living now. Um, it's just further proof that you know, at the end of the day, I don't have to worry about when, right, or how, or where even in any of that i i just need to be consistent and continue to lean and depend on the lord and trust him so just giving several examples there y'all of um i guess that verse in action as a human not just looking at the birds right um you know i guess i'm living proof of this verse that you know he valued me enough right to um not only give me the desires of my heart but to uh Help me to get to this point today. So, anywho, let's keep going. Matthew 10 and 29. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Oh, man. I want to say it was Sunday. Um, uh, The pastor was speaking and whatnot and giving a good message. At some point... um. I have the paper over there, but I won't go and get it because I'm in the midst of recording. (laughs) But basically, he was sharing one of the verses where it just was reiterating that God knows everything about us. Again, from the hairs on our head to he knew us before we were knitted in the womb. Like all these different things that God, like he knows us better than we know ourselves. And, um, And there's nothing that can separate us from him, right? Um... Now, granted, I know that there's the, uh, I'm assuming from based on Bible now, there's the possibility of, I guess, except you, right? If you choose not to believe X, Y, and Z and you die in that choice, then I guess, you know, you can be separated from God in that aspect. But, um, you know, there's no hiding from the Lord. There's no, you know, um, hiding anything mentally. He knows what you're thinking. He knows everything about you. And so... I mean, I don't know. That's what's standing out to me the most about this verse right here, saying that um, not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. Um, You know, just again, just like the birds, this is a message for us today as well. There's nothing that is going to separate us from him. Nothing we can hide. He, He knows it all. So just one of those things to think about. Now, want to share um this next verse i wrote it in the opposite way but um i want to share this one now it's proverbs 27 and 8 it says like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home uh i mean this verse stood out to me for a few reasons um you know obviously It's an example, right, of of leaving the nest and straying from your home, X, Y, and Z. But I feel like it kind of goes 
with the next couple of verses. So let's let me get to those, right? So the um, next verse I feel like to share is Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I am sending you out as sheep into in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. So, you know, um, we can either stray from the nest and stray from home or, you know, I'm also seeing here that he's sending us out, right? He's sending us out into the world and to the wolves and everything like that. Um, but he's not sending us out alone. He's always there with us as well as, you know, he's giving us guidance, right? Be wise, be innocent as doves, things of that nature. Um, the th verse I feel led to share after that was Psalm 50 and 11. It says, I know all the birds of the hills and all that moves in the field is mine. There you go, man. At the end of the day, you know, he knows all. He knows all of us. He, you know, he knows who is his. Um, technically, all, we're all his, right? <laughs> um, we've been bought with the price, as they say. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, again, yeah, I don't know if you feel like this conversation is for the birds, if you feel like it's worthless or nothing like that. Or I hope that you see the this the complete opposite, knowing that God takes care of the little bitty bird and he will take care of you. And um, you know, we don't have to be ashamed of our past or anything like that. At the end of the day, he knows all. And um, and if he's pleased with you, uh, I guess ultimately that's all that matters. And I guess that's the juice this morning. I hope that you guys are encouraged and inspired by it. You guys can reflect on the verses in the Go Deeper section if you would like to peruse them and let them marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds. But the Bible verse of today is Galatians 5 and 13. It says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh but by love serve one another friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice i pray you guys go forth and have a wonderful day and i look forward to talking to you all tomorrow if the lord's will bye-bye Everyone is stuck at home, but life is still happening around us every day. Birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, and celebrations. Send your friends and family the gift of wine from the comforts of home. Wine shop at home with Miracle of Wine. Wine, gift baskets, wine accessories, and more at MiracleOfWine.com.